Hey, what's happening, guys? Today's video is going to be a little bit different because I want to talk to you about 3D design and CAD programs. And should I just show you something that I just discovered myself? Now, first of all, what we're seeing here is Tinkercad. And Tinkercad is how I got started doing CAD. For 3D design, rather. So here is something that, you know, I designed. It's just a box with a lid. And there's nothing to it. But what I want to show you, new design. My microphone keeps falling down, down, down. So anyway, the way you work with Tinkercad is you simply draw shapes. You can adjust them. You know, you can constrain them. But that's pretty much it. You know, you you could bring in another shape. You know, do something like this, and then you can bring this into this. Then you can draw a box around them. You can say make them one. And now, you know, they're one shape, but there's not a lot of finesse to this. And I figure I've been playing around with 3D printing and 3D printing for so long that I should really learn how to do the 3D design myself. So I downloaded Fusion 360. I watched a couple of tutorials and my brain absolutely melted. My buddy Uncle Rob told me that he was working on learning FreeCAD, so I downloaded that and I looked it over and still it, it just didn't click with me. So I did a little bit more looking online, watched some videos, and I came across Onshape. And that's what I want to show you. Okay, so if we just take a look at you know something you've seen on my desk. Here is my solder stand that I made with Tinkercad. And you, you, know, you can do some okay can work with this, but there is a better way, I promise you. So this is the free version of Onshape, which is an incredibly professional CAD program. But it's so simple to use that it, it makes me feel like I'm playing with a toy. If you look down here, every one of these, I drew. And I'm just learning how to do this. In the last two days, it's like, holy cow. Check out this one. This is a hose adapter to fit a uh, rectangular 6 by 3 inch uh, duct and take it down to a two and a half inch duct. Look at that, I've got fillets here. I've got the faces blended on the inside for smooth airflow. It is just incredible. But I never thought I would be able to do this because I don't have anything artistic in me. Like I'm a hell of a technician. You teach me something, and I can reproduce it. But actually dreaming up stuff, yeah, it's not my thing. I'm going to close this out, and I'm going to show you how super simple this is, because I hope that you understand the reason I'm doing this is to show you that you can do this too if you want to design your own 3D stuff. And if you're into electronics and you want to make enclosures, this is how you do it. So let's start with something simple. A vase. Now, what differentiates the free version of Onshape from the paid version is there are no private files. Whatever you create is out there. And I'll, I'll show you that. But if you don't care about that, and I certainly don't for hobby use, then what's it really matter? All right, so let's start at the front. And let's say we are going to have a hexagonal vase. We have to start everything with a sketch. 
So you click sketch, and then you need to tell it what plane you're drawing on. We're going to draw on the front plane, just like that. Now we're ready to draw. So we're going to come over here to the polygon tool. You can start anywhere you want, but I'm going to start here for a reason that I'll show you in a second. Uh, it doesn't matter how many we'll make this because we're going to constrain this all here in a second. Let me just let me line these up here. Oops, uh, six. We want six. There we go. Okay. So now we have a six-sided polygon. Super dimension. This is a param. This is a uh, parametric tool. Is what it's called which means everything is defined by parameters. So when you dimension things enough, it's going to turn black. The lines are going to turn from blue to black. That's saying that we have enough information that this can only be interpreted, I guess you'd say, one way. So by doing these dimensions, I'm specifying all the different sizes. So now, oh, <laughs> let's just move my finger around the screen like you can see it. So now you see how this is drawn, and you see how it is all turned black? Okay. So we're almost done. The one last thing we need to do is I need to put a point in the center. And then we'll click here. And there is our six-sided shape. It is drawn on the front plane. That's all we've done so far. Okay. Now we are going to put a new plane in. New plane. And uh, entity is going to be this guy here. We are going to offset this plane. To our base five. To offset this five inches. So if you look, now we have a separate plane there. You see that plane one? Plane one is right there. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So plane one is five inches in front of the plane we drew on, which is the front plane. What we're going to do, we're going to draw another sketch onto plane one. It's going to be another six-sided polygon. And it doesn't matter if the vortex is line, vertex is line up at this point. And I'll show you why in a minute. Six sides, very good. Now we need to dimension. We need to turn all our lines black. This is very important for 3D printing. If all our lines aren't black, our mesh might not close. So we'll dimension from here to here. Why didn't you do it? E for dimension. I want that wall. I want that. There we go. All right, I'm going to have to dimension a couple more things. Hang on. Okay, so I've dimensioned the crap out of it. And now you can see we have that smaller hexagon on top of this hexagon. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to close. No. I need to put a dot on that sketch too. Right there. Now we can close our sketch. And now we're going to use what's called the loft command. We're going to loft from here to here. But I did it. One moment. It was under connections. That's what we want. So we have to match connections. We're going to match this connection here, not with the one above it, but with the one next to it. And now 
we have our twisted surface. Leaving us with one last thing to do, which is to put a hole in it. To go like this, to go like this, then to be a blind hole. Keep okay. Don't close holes. Front row. Hang on. So I did not actually get my point on that sketch. I thought I did. Okay, so sketch, boom. Let me put my point right there in the center. Now I'll save it. Okay, now it's there. So now we go to the hole command. Hole goes here. The hole is going to be inches wide, and it's going to be a blind hole about three inches deep. So now we have a nice shape. We can make the hole deeper if we want. But now we can just make it pretty. So we can come over here and grab our fillet tool and just click on these upper edges like so. Look at that. Now I can hit P, hide the plane so you can see it better, like that. Come down here to where your parts are. You can export it. Pause. STL. Now we have a mesh we can print. If you'd rather have a uh, professional drawing that you needed to, you know, say for instance, take to a machine shop or something, well, there you go. It's all right there for you. You see what I'm saying? This is so simple. You want gears? That's fine. They got gears. What do I do with my gears? No, they're in here somewhere. I just don't. Oh, last open binding. Here we go. We can just scroll down here. Like I did the gears. <laughs> no problem. What I'm just trying to say to you, I guess, is. If you want to do 3D design instead of just downloading things from Thingiverse, you can do it. I've learned this in two days. Two days. And I'm designing stuff like this. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right, guys. I know this was a strange video, but it's just something I wanted to share with you on shape. You can do get the free version. Oh, and by the way, it's in the cloud. It's all online. I'll put a link down below. If you're interested, check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out the Patreon link down below. If you're not a Patreon, a dollar a month is all we ask. Helps us buy neat things like 3D printers. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.